silence breakers who exposed <laughs> sexual harassment and launched the Me Too movement. And some people are saying, is, was that the right choice? Well, we, some people thought it was going to be them. Oh. But it wasn't, it wasn't going to be there. And it turned out to be the silence She's breakers. not talking about me. <laughs> but, I mean, I think it's pretty amazing. Well, I yeah. like that there's an elbow in there, which you see on the side, and I didn't know if it was meant to represent just the general woman, but that was actually a choice. The image you see of that elbow in the mm -hmm. front there is a woman, a hospital worker in the middle of the country who shared her story with us, but said she didn't feel she could come forward without threatening her livelihood. Mm -hmm. So they even used that, even that yeah. was deliberate. it's still there, yeah. 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 It's, it's still there. it's still there, but it, you know, we've said it before, is this a watershed moment? I certainly think it's a moment of reckoning um, and, and a really important moment. And what's shocking to me is the Me Too hashtag or campaign was started in 2006 by a woman. Oh, really? I didn't know that. 2006 know. by uh, Tarana Burke. And uh, she founded it because she experienced sexual assault herself. And she wanted to do something to help women and girls um, who had also survived sexual violence. And I thought, my goodness, that was 11 years ago. Mm -hmm. Why did it take so long to have this moment, this moment of reckoning? Well, this is almost like the climax of the mo movement, and then it's going to just continue, Do you I think, think it started with Anita Hill? Pro well, that's really probably when it's so. the first. Modern day, I would say, out, it was Gretchen yeah. Carlson. Like, Modern, I would yeah. say, and like... Then Gretchen yeah. Carlson is actually not included in this, which I was surprised, and Megyn Kelly is. And again, I know we all know I used to work at Fox, but Gretchen Carlson mm -hmm. really was sort of the first person to start all of this, at least in media. I was also surprised they don't include the journalists. I still think Ronan Farrow deserves, like, a Peabody Award and For all the work. accolades. Mm -hmm. He yeah. kept at it even when NBC allegedly didn't want him to have him continue. He used his own personal money to do yeah. interviews and with Rose McGowan. Yeah, he'll get a Peabody think, for that, but this but, is, yeah. Well, did, I, I, a, a journalistic yeah. award, because he, he, he made these women feel safe at a time yeah. when I I don't know if journalists necessarily were. So that's my only issue with this is I think they're, but I guess you can't include everyone, but no. maybe a little section. But, but if, Carlson but if this brought was, down Roger Ailes. I mean, that's a big enchilada. Yeah. 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 But if this was started 11 years ago. Mm -hmm. the, the hashtag. Or the, the hashtag. Movement. Yeah. Do you know anything about the young lady who started it? Uh, just that, that uh, her name's Tarana Burke. Um, she's an African-American woman. Mm. She um, experienced sexual assault, and she, she said she wanted to not only do something to help women and girls, but particularly women and girls of color um, because of the silence that there mm -hmm. is in, in the community about well, that. Well, I'm glad to know that there's... Because we heard that someone else started this yeah. hashtag and so it's good to sort of yeah. follow yeah. it and see yeah. where it went but it um give credit where 11 credit is well yeah, yeah you got to give some credit ago. 11 yeah. years ago yeah i have a question though because the the movement sort of started with trump being elected in the women's march and my i wasn't mm. present at the women's march but my father's I don't want to say too much, but he saw it near where he works, and he said it was seas and seas and seas of women, mm -hmm. and he was like, I remember having a conversation, he was like, this cannot be ignored. There's more women than you could possibly see at this time, no matter how you right. feel about it. I didn't participate in the Women's March. And then it mm -hmm. ends with this Time Magazine being Woman of the Year. Do you yeah. think this would have happened had Trump not been president? Oh, that's a good one. If I, Hillary Clinton had I, won. I, I actually do, because I think the, the whole issue with the women coming mm -hmm. out had more to do with they just couldn't hold on to it yeah. anymore. And I think that this <laughs> movement forward would have happened because, you know, this silence has gone on for years and years and years and years. Yeah. And, and part of the reason that it is no longer silent is because it is not, it's not easy to do this to women or men anymore. It's not easy to just do it anymore and get away with people and would tell on you like that. They're yeah. like, right there, yeah. there he is. Yeah. There she is, there they are. So yeah. I think it would have happened no matter what, well, just if, the right time. And if Hillary had won, women would have felt empowered that we had a woman in the White House and we were, like, even stronger. This is more of a reaction to Trump. Well, if you really it's a really different like, motivation, but either way, as, I, as she says, it would have happened, I think. Considering mm -hmm. that Roger Ailes yeah. and Bill O'Reilly were the first major, powerful, mm -hmm. wealthy people to go down, I think yeah. that is where I saw the dam break. And yeah. so I would say that probably was going to happen... Regardless, and that did happen before the election. It happened in July. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, that's yeah. True. It's just, I don't. It's a really interesting time to be a woman, especially a woman in media. Yeah. And I thought it was going to be, uh, like, I pr we predicted this on the show that we more than likely thought this would be the per yeah. people of the year. I think it's great on Time Magazine's part, and I agree with you that any man who's screwing around at work anymore, you better start running because this isn't a good time for you. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.